this video was brought to you by my patrons. I remember watching Clanad and its after story for the first time. I remember watching something that resonated with me deeply, that touched me in a way that I was not expecting, and I cried my eyes out again and again and again. It's one of my favorite shows of all time, so much so that I had to make a video about it, and it has become my most viewed video ever. I thought I was done with it, but I was wrong. I had more to talk about it, I had to understand it even further, and so I decided to make a video on one of the most brilliant episodes ever made, the one about another world, another romance, another life, and it broke me, I made it at the right time in my life, and it's probably the video that shows me at my most vulnerable state. This was it. There was nothing more I could say. My voice echoed my most inner feelings and it was heard by so many of you. I could finally close the Clanad book forever. But there was only one problem. I couldn't. I still had things to say. Every time I think I'm done with clan ads, it somehow pulls me back in. I wasn't going to wait any longer. The time is now, and to help me do this, I asked my good friend Kevin to help me. One who also loves clan ads. One who makes amazing videos on his channel. And one you should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And so, we decided to come together for this collab, where we split our analysis into two parts, for both my channel and his, all in order to properly analyze why Clanad's cure chapter is near perfect. Here's the thing. This episode is not perfect, its themes aren't as interesting as the ones found in Tomoyo's chapter, one that deals with breakup and responsibilities that come with growing up, whereas Kyo's chapter mainly deals with the high school love triangle, which is something that has been done so many times in numerous stories, plus it deals with not just two, but three characters, and thus is not able to fully dive deep down into what each character is going through. However, it's still one of the best love triangles ever put to screen, because the way it approaches each character and situation is super intriguing, in a way I had not truly understood the first time I watched it, and to talk about that, we need to first talk about Ryo and Kyo. When we first meet the twin sisters in Clanad, we find two seemingly very different characters. One is very shy and very nice, the other is very upfront and has no problem in putting her foot down. It's almost hard to fathom that they are even related, much less being twin sisters. But it's also that dynamic that tells us so much about them. We find out that Kyo will do anything for her sister and will protect her against each and every one. She is is not afraid, whereas Ryo will go along with things, will not say what she is truly feeling, and chooses to be nice because she doesn't want to hurt anyone. It's pretty clear who each one is, it's pretty evident what to expect of them. But then, in Clanad's Cure chapter, something interesting happens. The one who is not afraid, that confronts everyone, that says what's on her mind, is the one that doesn't confess, and the one that is nice, that goes along with everything, that is afraid to showcase her feelings, is the one to confess to our protagonist, is the one that ends up doing not so nice things, that knew her sister would do anything for her, and took advantage of that situation. Everything we knew completely blows up in our face, we find ourselves in a completely new situation, that breaks down the imagery we had of both of them, that challenges each one in completely new ways, especially Kyo, having to deal with her crush being in a relationship with the one she has sworn to protect, trying not to acknowledge her true feelings, trying to be selfless, but in reality, she can only be selfish. As much as she tries, she cannot run away from what her emotions tell her, 
and it breaks her down slowly. It's this juxtaposition between them that I find to be so captivating. And no better is that shown than in this scene. One that comes near the end of the episode, that perfectly juxtaposes both Ryo and Kyo in such a masterful manner. Not just due to its narrative, but most of all, due to its visuals. Placing the twin sisters in the exact same position, where we have Ryo in front of Tomoya, wanting him to love her, and then immediately cuts to Kyo, wanting so painfully to be the one standing there by that window, to be the one in front of our main character, but is not. I never quite caught how the visuals did this so well, cutting back and forth between them, and with each moment we see both becoming more desperate, the shy girl voicing herself more and more to be with our protagonist, and the loud girl completely silent, completely unable to utter a single word. Both are dealing with this conundrum. Both want to be near him, both want to be with him, but can't, whether it's physically or emotionally. Once again, we see the brilliance of Kyoto animation shine even in the smallest of moments, but one that feels enormous to these characters. And to finish off this video, Kevin will now dissect the themes of this episode even further. Take it away, Kevin. Clanad's strengths as a series is when it's able to convey the emotions of characters that need letting out. This OVA is no different. It's a love triangle between Tomoya and the two sisters, but only one of them can end up being happy by the end. Tomoya has the difficult decision of staying with a person who likes him or hurting her feelings to chase after a person who he really loves. Kyo throughout the episode is slowly filled with regret because she didn't stay true to her feelings, and it's something that is deeply hurting her from the inside. This all comes to a climax in the final minutes, with Clanad showing us its true underlying ethos. On the school rooftop, Tomoya has a conversation with Sunohara, and I think what he says encapsulates the messages and themes of the episode. If you want to keep your distance from both of them now, then that's the loser's way out. You're trying to stay unscarred, aren't you? If you've come this far, you'll have to hurt someone. Clanad is a series that brings out the best in people. It doesn't want you to dwell in the past with regret, sadness, and wondering what could have been. It wants people to be true to themselves no matter what. And because of this, there's a lot of valuable life lessons that can be learned from the series. If Tomoya was to break up with Ryo and not go out with anyone, he would not only be lying but preventing himself to experience what life is meant to be like. It's impossible to go through life without having to hurt someone you love. It's something that we as humans are unable to control. If you didn't experience any pain or suffering in life, then how could you know what joy and happiness is? The pain of hurting someone only means that your relationship with them truly mattered. If you didn't feel anything, then how can you say your relationship with them was even genuine in the first place? Clanad's ethos is that feelings and emotions are things that are not meant to be repressed, but rather fully embraced. Life is meant to be lived with all the ups and downs that come with it. Through all the struggles you'll inevitably endure in life, if you stay true to yourself, you'll be a much more happy and fulfilled person in the end. Tomoya does the difficult task of breaking up with Ryo and chases off of the person who he really loved. Ryo so desperately wants to stay with Tomoya, even suggesting that she can change herself to become more like her older sister. But that goes against everything the series has stood for. If you have to change yourself in order to be with a person who doesn't truly love you back, you're only prolonging a relationship that will never last. You aren't being your true self. Loving someone means that you accept everything about who they are, and if they don't, that just means it wasn't genuine. When Kyo and Tomoya are together by the end, the sun is now shining the brightest it has ever been, giving Kyo her moment of true happiness. It's something that she's earned, because now she's fully embraced her feelings for the person she loves. This OVA was so much better on a rewatch as I got to fully appreciate so many character nuances and directing choices that I didn't notice the first time through. Clanad is a truly special show, and if you let it connect with you, it's able to teach you a lot of life lessons and change your life for the better. Thank you so much everyone for watching this collab, I had a lot of fun working with Kazi on this one as we both love Kyoto Animation. If you want to see the rest of our analysis, you can head on over to my channel at Kevin Nya. Thank you to all of Kazi's Patreons so far as it helps support content like this. Subscribe, and if you want to see more video essays like this, why not check out some of the other videos Kazi has made so far. It's been Kevin, and I'll see you all next time.